Okay. Yes, uh, welcome to this uh, program. Welcome back. Uh, I'm Evans Luke Mona, uh, one of the trainers um, Agri Business and Entrepreneurship. Uh, that's the project or study that is being undertaken on the beautiful continent of Africa. This afternoon or today, we've got um, groups from Kenya and Congo DR. So we just finished the first phase of the language aspect. Now we're going to go to discussing um, agri business and ag entrepreneurship uh, based on fact finding. Students were given assignments to research about the agricultural in their country currently and the future aspect. And this is going to launch us on two of the nitty gritties of knowing the direction of the countries we are in charge or connected to or to this program that is Ibera Congo and Kenya. So we have uh, a couple of students coming through to make great So that you, a German who is a potential investor, a potential partner in agribusiness, You've got to hear it from the horse's mouth, which say in English, that is, they live in those countries. They are the best witnesses. As in Germany here, we cannot be the best witnesses because we are getting the information from news in Kenya, news in DR Congo, news in Zambia, news in Zimbabwe, and so on. But they themselves, the students and managers, Fikatan and DLI managers are on the ground there and they are going to give us the real feedback the real status quo of affairs so that you as an investor as a partner in agribusiness between germany and kenya between germany and dr congo germany and any other country on the continent of africa that are going to make presentations you are going to hear it directly from them so stay tuned i'm going to share the screen on the a platform or the document that we gave them as an assignment some good eight to ten years ago which they did the research and they're going to be giving us some feedback so these are the students some of the students that you're seeing here i'm pretty sure others are going to be joining anytime sometimes internet connectivity it is quite disturbing here we go i'm going to share the screen and we look at the document. This is the assignment given to the students by Twigatene, IFA, or NGO Germany, and DLI Germany course module Agricultural Practices, in short, AE106. I am not the main trainer of this program, I'm just standing in for Dr. Kleto Namove, okay? And these are the questions. Getting to know agribusiness in your country, in order for you to succeed in this course, agribusiness and entrepreneurship, AE, you need to know important facts about agriculture in your country. Therefore, select your country where you are currently based and where you will carry out your agribusiness project. Carry out a research and answer the following questions. Note, you can use the authentic Google search or the free online library for your research. Remember, you can only succeed in any project by first taking a look, a look at the history, current affairs of that project. You will make a class presentation after two weeks. And here we are, we're going to have some presenters. And these are the questions that we have got here. I think they ran up to about 16. Okay, we are going to take them as they come. And A, or in German, R. Name the country you are researching on. Also state its population. B, or in German, bear agriculture in my country. Number one, in general, what is the importance of agriculture in your country? And 
the responses are going to come through false. So, give me one second. I've got to pull out my usual pen. Okay. Okay, can I check if Congo is back yet? Still struggling to enter in one second. If they're flipping something, the door is open, it's not closed. Anybody can easily access. What we're going to do um, is that people are going to, I'm not going to want to select. You are going to raise up your hand using that button. Then we open your microphone and you do some presentation. You may not, you, you should not do all the parts. Okay, we've got to do on a share basis. On a shared basis, and this is a discussion. Listen to your presentation. We are going to ask some questions. Okay, not only me here, even other colleagues may ask because what I believe in is that agriculture in any other country differs from that country's regions. For instance, I come from Zambia. I want to tell you this that, for instance, my home village or province is called the Luapula province. Luapula province, he told me to say that province by doing agribusiness in planting ananas, ananas in German, in English, ananas is pineapples, planting pineapples. I'm going to be cheating you because in our province we are not keen with such kind of crops but when you talk about cassava fish farming oh we are going to excel another person from zambia another zambian province it's going to be different so much as we are dealing with kenya here and congo dr i don't think maybe it could be that one country should have just one type of agro or agri uh business so let's get started with i'm gonna call upon now we're calling upon kenya 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 uh who should volunteer please volunteer from kenya first presenter And you tell us the numbers or the points that like one you should not just follow it um, like from number one up to still no you can choose not one at least two maybe two to points that you want to present on can you Kenya, feel free, feel free, let's go. You are not talking to Mr. Evans Lukomala here, no. You are talking to your potential partner in Germany here. That's the main essence of this presentation, okay? So try to do your level best to present your region or your country, okay? Because as we get you partners, 
okay? From here, agri partners. These are some of the videos we are going to show. No, we are not just talking as to Katana NGO or DLI. No, here is the presentation from some key students from Kenya. Here are some presentations from some key students from DR Congo, and they are going to watch and listen to you before you come to talking to them. So that's the essence. So the first uh, person, first person to open the microphone. First person to open the microphone. You are speaking in English, it's not German yet. <laughs> the presentation is not in German. Mm -hmm. in, uh, Mr. Elvis, the person we're having now is Mr. Elvis. Yeah, I'll take you through number one. Okay. Go ahead, sir. Oh, is it freezing? A main source of raw material to the industry, such as cotton. Sorry, sir. Uh, Mr. Elvis, can you start again? Because it was freezing. Uh -huh. It's okay. Yeah, I'm saying, I'll take you through number one to number three, and I'll start with the importance of agriculture in Kenya. So my first point is the main source of raw material to the industries, such as the cotton industry. Number two, it provides suits for the construction. Number three, it provides employment. Number four, is the backbone of the economy system. Number five, is the source of income to the Kenyan. Then the last one, the country is in the position to earn revenue. Up to that point, I hope we are clear. Quite clear, sir. Thank you. Number two, explain, explain the kind of farming in the country. Like, I'm in Kenya. Now the, the farming practice in Kenya, we have tea farming. We have horticulture. We have coffee farming. We have beef farming. We have dairy farming pig farming and poultry farming. Sheep farming is also there. Those are the, they are the kinds of farming within Kenya. Then number three, among all the types of farming, explain which one is the leading in Kenya. In Kenya, the leading farming is tea farming. Then we are told to give reason behind, behind being the leading. It is the major, it is the major profitable that is leading in foreign exchange and for the country. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'd say I'll take you from number one to number three. I think I'm Perfect. in number three. Perfect. Before uh, somebody comes in, thank you so much, sir, Mr. Elvis, for your presentation. Wonderful. Okay. Um, here. Number three, I've got a question. Among all the types of farming explained above, which one is the leading in your country? Yeah. And give the reasons why. You said tea farming is the leading, isn't it? Uh -huh. Okay. Is there a reason why tea should be the leading amongst all? I get a reason. Mm -hmm. It is a major profitable compared to other farming. Okay. So it's got something to do with revenue. It, exactly. It brings quite lots of money to the country. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, same on number three. When we look at exactly. tea in Kenya, yeah. um, in which, are you telling me that, or are you telling a potential investor that, or yeah. your partner, that the whole lot of Kenya, all corners, all counties, I believe in, in Kenya, you say counties, in all the 47 counties in Kenya, yeah. tea is grown there in all of them, all their regions where it is concentrated. 
yeah, according to the question, mm -hmm. among all the types of farming, which one is is doing well, huh? Yes. And I think I've given the right answer, even though there are some parts in Kenya, there are some counties in Kenya where tea planting is not taking is not is not carried on. Okay. But what we know, tea farming is carried on along the Rift Valley. Okay. Yeah, that, that, that's the main place where it's being carried on. Okay. Now, if uh, an investor or your potential partner was listening to you when you say it is carried on in the Rift Valley, where mm. exactly is the Rift Valley? Along the Nandi region. Nandi region. Okay, Nandi region. Is that the northwest, south, or central? I think. Uh... Let me think, let me think. Okay, awesome. Okay, Nande Valley. Perfect. That's really a key line. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And now uh, probably I've got um, here on uh, question one. In general, what is the importance of agriculture in your country? You've um, alluded to about five points among mm. them which is one of the main uh, revenues income for the country and employability it provides employment yeah now um, would you know the kind of average age of uh, the workers or the people that are working on the farms that are employed, mm. are they the youth, the middle class, or, you know, the aging group? Mm. So, sir, before you respond, sir, sorry, let me just make a comment. Uh, please, microphone, check your microphone. We are enjoying the presentation here from Mr. Uh, this microphone. Thank you. Hello. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. It's quite a... involved uh, in the in the in the agriculture, mm -hmm. and the good the, the good percentage uh, is the youth. Wow. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's really good. Perfect. 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 Which one would you say could be the second? Uh, most important agri business in Kenya other than tea, which which comes next? Uh, that is horticulture, the growing of flowers. Mm, wonderful, wonderful. And uh, I think I heard from somebody that Kenya even exports a lot of uh, what we call it. Um, the rose, the rose flowers to Europe, is it? Uh, Perfect. Wonderful. Wonderful. Awesome. Do you have any other question here? Okay. Uh, what about uh, the livestock? L let me... the life... Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're also doing cattle keeping. Okay. Yeah. W wonderful. Wonderful. How is cattle keeping in Kenya? Is it kept? Because I remember some years back, 1995, 96, I was in Tanzania, and I noticed that uh, cattle keeping, as part of uh, promoting agriculture in that area, was uh, man not mandatory. The best way that is um, was an open thing. One would keep the cattle in the farms, or could keep the cattle at home even in the, you know, uh, uh, high class um, uh, home setups, you'd be driving through the roads and you'd see the cattle. Is it the same thing in Kenya? No, I think, what I know, uh, cattle keeping in Kenya done for number of number of purpose. Mm -hmm. That's why uh, cattle being kept for beef, Mm -hmm. Then uh, we have dairy farming, which is meant for milk. Mm -hmm. At the same time, 
Uh, there, 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 there are two. There are two. That is for beef and uh, mm -hmm. beef, beef and uh, milk. Okay. That we're keeping. Perfect. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, are there still, sir? Yeah. Now, uh, one question here with your nice presentation. What message you are on the agribusiness project? What message could you now tell a potential partner with your cooperative in Kenya? What message would you tell this investor, this company, this organization here in Germany, in your own words? In my own words, I would like to tell them uh, in case they would like to invest uh, in agriculture in Kenya, they should have hope that uh, in Kenya we have good soil that uh, allow for the growth of uh, plants and the temperature and the temperature also is nice climate is also good that will enable them and they are will, will enable them their plants and their whatever they are going to put on to practice thrive awesome any other word or oh, you are done sir i'm done oh perfect well well presented thank you so much that's mr elvis Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. Now, um, we are going to, a, a, anybody, anybody with, uh, uh, before he goes, any question, any question to Mr. Elvis on his presentation? Let's participate. If anybody's got a question or a clarification? No, pretty good. Meaning is really done a great presentation. Thank you, sir. Great. Now, let's take another person or another pair to or group to take on the next points. The next points. Let's check back. Choose any. You don't have to go four, five, six. You can start from anywhere. Please. Raise up your hand and let's get participating. Yes, yes, please, students. You all did research. Who is coming forth? Who's coming through? Mr. Martin there? Madam Winnie Martin? Maybe this time the microphone is opening. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Mr. Elvis has opened the show nicely. It is an inclusive. You don't have to have specifics. Okay, don't think of specifics. Anything that you can present, you can talk about regarding the points that we gave you. You are, just assume yourself, you are before you are in agribusiness now. You are before that potential partner. Okay. I know you're not going to be quiet. There you are going to speak your, <laughs> your throats out because you're going to say this is the chance to go into partnership with the Germans, the Spaniards, the investors. So this is what we are doing here. Okay, We are practicing together. Okay, Before that time comes, again, we are going to practice to fix things. All right, so this is time. Let's go. Uh, okay, Mr. Helvis has played a role. Can we have a, uh, oh, okay. Mr. Clinton on, on Django, Mr. Clinton. Mr. Clinton. Oh, 
Okay, Mr. O, is it Madam Owidi? Madam Owidi, good. Do you have the questions or I should share the screen? I have the questions. Perfect. Then, awesome. So, um, we've got Mrs. Owidi Winnie. She's going to present to us. Which questions do you have? I, I would like to present the the fourth question. The fourth question, where is it? Here, okay, good. And the seventh question. Fourth question. Fourth question, what support does your government give to the farmers? Seventh question, what are the advantages and disadvantages of applying fertilizer in farming? List at least five which cares. Awesome. Go ahead, please. Okay, like in Kenya, the government spends like 20 billion US dollars a year on subsidies for farm businesses. Mm. It also protects farmers against fluctuations, prices, revenue, and yields. Okay. And then the, any question on that? Whoever has not understood. Mm. Um, I'm just looking at the figures here. The government spends over $20 billion a year yeah. on fertilizer, is it? Yeah. Okay. Now, where does this fertilizer go to? To the small scale farmers. Okay. Yeah. That's distribution to small scale farmers all over the country in Kenya. Yeah. Now, yeah. sounds really great. Now tell me, this 20 billion per year to small scale farmers, is it free fertilizer or they have to contribute something to get some bags? Mm. Actually, it's not like they are given for free, mm -hmm. but they are given at a lower prices. Okay, not free at lower prices. What do you mean by lower very, prices? At a very cheap price, okay. but not really free at all. Yeah. Perfect. What does cheap mean in this case? How much roughly, approximately? Like, like roughly, it if it if it would cost like if fifty kg would go like for fifteen hundred. Mm -hmm. Then the government would give you like at 700. Ah, okay, 700, almost 50%. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. And according to your experience, um, so many people do afford to pay that much, the 50%. And so at least that, that, that would be kind of affordable. It would be I really... affordable. Okay, yeah, so it would just be 50 kg. Back. Yeah, that's just an example. As an example, wonderful. Yeah. wonderful. Then the, you mentioned the other second point. What was that? The other, the, the other point, yeah, mm -hmm. protection. You talked about protection, the line was breaking. I couldn't hear that they, they protect farmers against fluctuations. Like even if the prices would rise and would go down, you're still catered for in the in on the way in between. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. But you really don't go at a loss. At, at times that prices were high, but then you invested a lot. You don't run at that loss. Okay, because of the government's policy to protect the farmer. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful, really, really good. Sounds great. Sounds great. Just a question before you go to the other point, a question towards that. These are the small scale farmers. And what about the large scale farmers? The large scale farmers or commercial farmers? What kind of assistance do they get from this government, if any? In the case of in the case of Kenya, 
it's just a combined force that is perfect yeah okay pretty good wonderful thank you so much and the next point the next point was the advantages and disadvantages of fertilizer farming mm -hmm. of applying fertilizer mm -hmm. Great. yeah I, I would just like to state that okay it's it's good to apply fertilizers but again to some extent it's not good per se for instance like on the advantages the main the, the main advantage is to increase crop yield mm -hmm. on the farm. and again manure improves the soil texture and then uh, the third one pasture okay uh, the, the use of pasture it improves the fattening of uh, the animals like for instance the cows and again fertilizers can help retain it can help retain the the the, the land like microphone please microphone thank you Okay. On the on the disadvantage side, please you are online. Uh, make sure if you are on class, mute you automatically your when you join in. Mute your microphone, please. Thank you. Thank you. Continue, please. On the disadvantage size side. Fertilizers can be toxic to, okay, even to our health, like it, it's just about the health issues. Mm -hmm. Excess use of it could be toxic and then it could cause leaching. And you know, to some, the, the, this, this land, some are like directed to the rivers. Mm -hmm. So that as well could be harmful. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, I could only manage those two. Great. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Um, before uh, you wind up, any other uh, any other contribution or questions to Madame Winnie? Students? Advantages and disadvantages of fertilizer. No questions. No questions. Great. Now, final. Thank you so much for that great presentation. Now, Madam Winnie, you are on this project, agribusiness and entrepreneurship. What lineage or what line? of agribusiness would you love to get involved in specifically at an as an entrepreneur would you love to do everything livestock crop farming and fish farming and everything what is a major area of interest uh, that's then, what would you love to specialize in i'd love to specialize on poultry Poultry. Yeah. Poultry. Have you done poultry before at a certain scale? Yeah. Or home uh, a, bit. a bit. A bit. What was that? Just the rearing of chicken, geese, yeah, and duck. Okay, perfect. That's at home. Yeah. Okay, for consumption or selling to the neighbors or something like that. For consumption. For consumption. Okay, pretty good. Roughly, like per year, how many would you rear? Like a year would rear like. You, you know, it's it's a bit difficult because the moment it reaches a certain edge, you now see the kitchen. 
Okay. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a very good answer. Perfect. <laughs> On the cooking oil. Wonderful. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, any questions? No questions to her. Now, yourself being on this project towards the end of the project, as we have said, you are now getting connected to the potential investors, partners, and everything here in diaspora. What word, what word would you tell that potential partner, investor in your project? Pardon? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't get that correct. Okay. What way would you tell your potential a partner or investor on agri business? In Kenya or in in, in Germany, for instance, here. Mm -hmm. So an investor in coming to Kenya? Yes. Mm -hmm. I would actually tell an investor in, in Kenya there are so many opportunities like so, so many people are not really taking some of these things serious so okay. we just need an, an, a, a light education on that and then just to assure an investor that in Kenya we have so so many opportunities we have so many fertile land we have so many conducive environments for airing livestock poultry so they should just feel free, feel comfortable, feel encouraged to invest in Kenya. Perfect. Now, you have mentioned one thing, that they should feel free. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes what uh, draws back some investors is the government policy. Maybe they have to, the investors to wait together with you, who has welcomed the investor. Maybe you have to wait for one year, two years before the license comes out to start doing the business together. How is it in Kenya? Does it take so long? In Kenya, getting, getting a license doesn't take so long. Okay, roughly how many? The government of Kenya is just so keen on helping this come out very fast. It doesn't take so long, about three months you get that license. You okay. don't take... Perfect, yeah. perfect. So it depends on the kind of project, if it's a good project, quickly the permission is coming out. Wonderful. So that's a good word. To you, it depends on what you want to do. Like if you want that lenses of alcohol in Kenya, it would take forever. It takes a long time. For alcohol. That is For alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, happy, I'm happy to hear that it will take forever. <laughs> we need more food yeah. than alcohol. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much. I like that one. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Madam uh, Winnie. That was a great presentation. Awesome. Now, um, let's have a look at the next set of questions. We still got some couple of questions not taken. So the first three, one, Two, three, taken. Um, five, taken. And seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's move faster. We have got some more not taken. Any, anybody to come through, please? Let's work it together. Choose your parts. Choose your questions. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Um, Mr. Ray, Mr. Ray, any, which one do you have to choose? Mr. Ray, I know uh, Madam Winnie, Mr. Martin, there, they are trying to come in. Mm -hmm. Yes, Mr. Neon, Mr. Ray, come in, please. Which number? Or which numbers?
Yes, your microphone is on. Try to talk. Hello? I've seen your hand, Mr. Ray. Microphone is on. Oh, Mr. Ray's microphone is like it's not working. Okay, microphones. Uh, Madam Mika Vivian. Madam Vivian. Madam Vivian. Madam Vivian, not there. Maybe let me share the questions. I'm going to share again the questions. These are the questions. Okay, I'm going to select one or two questions. Um, question five. Um, question, no, question um, five. Somebody is there? Okay, yes, please. Uh, Neon, Ray, come through. Okay, question. This is an open question to all of you. How is the road network? in your country to facilitate easy transportation of the agri products throughout the country? How is the road network? Because in certain countries, there are only main highways or roads, but the feeder roads to break from the main road to that farmland are not, are not well done. Hence, it becomes difficult for the farmers that subsistent or commercial to transport their products to the main road which transports to the main cities. How is it in Kenya there? Madam Milka, come through please. Or anybody, open your microphone, please. Educate your investor. How is the road network system? Is the investor going to run away to say, no, 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 here we, can, we can't build the roads because there's no transportation. Yes, please, Madam Vivian, I can see your hand. Okay, just go ahead. You are talking, but we can't hear you. Something is wrong somewhere there. Hello. Now you are coming here, please. Hello. Yes, please. You are on now. Hello. Hello. Go ahead, please. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, it's hard. It's hard to get you now. Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, we realized that in the before the in, during the pre-colonial period. There was this agriculture that was being practiced majorly for subsistence use. And like now, where we have mechanized agriculture, where we, we, both, we both grow crops for subsistence and for commercial use. That is the cash crops that we grow, sell, and 
and in return, we earn the foreign exchange in our countries. And also we realized that during those days, we never had the chemicals that are used today to control the pesticides, the pests that are interfering with our crops that we normally grow. And also there are, today we have some other breeds, crop types of breeds in crops that have been brought into practice that are used, that are season the the system of agriculture whereby we, we have those breeds that take a sort of period to mature and like the in the pre-colonial period whereby they relied on one crop that was never been used. Thank you. Awesome, awesome. Thank you so much. Wow, it's good to learn that. Okay, it's really good to learn that. So this time there's diverse of uh, crops and things and that as compared to that time during the colonial uh, times. Thank you so much, Mr. Stray. Great. Any other contribution you want to say? Comparison. In comparison, no any other contribution. Wonderful. There's a contribution. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yeah, uh, the, uh, comparing, let's talk about the positive and the negative. For instance, I have the negative. Eh? During colonial period, eh, the products from uh, Kenyans farm are taken to the uh, colonial territory, their countries, where the colonials for the people gain the benefit. While in Kenya, we could provide labor, but whatever we earn from that labor was little. Thank you. Wow, wow. Mm, this is a big one too. So the labor force came from the Kenyans. The, the, colonial, yeah. masters, the colonial masters were holding on to the farms. Despite exactly. working hard by the Kenyans, they were given peanuts. The salaries were not satisfactory. Yeah. Wow. 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 It's good to know that. It's good to know <clears> that. <throat> so now you are simply saying the state of affairs are almost balanced. People have to pay according to what the government says. Minimum wage has to be so much, is it? In fact, that leads me to the next question. Does the Kenyan government control the salary scales that these farmer, junior farmers or whatever they call them, middle, high qualified, are supposed to get so much as a salary according to the labor ministry. Are there such controls or anybody can pay anything as a big farmer who has employed some workers? What I know, hello? Can you get me? Yes, sir, yes, sir. What I know, uh, there, is a, there is a role that the government is playing, especially when the small-scale farmers are selling their products to the market. Okay. For this instance, the government, let's say if the government is the one purchasing whatever the product from the farm, from the scale, from the scale farmers, uh, the scale farmers will get the good, the, the good percentage of their product. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So, which simply means, whichever the case, that farmer can be small scale farmer has got a way to sell his or her products. There's nothing like my products are rotten because I don't have the market. The government will always help. Exactly. Mm. Now, uh, as you are here, maybe. Somebody, if you've got a say, you can come in. I come from Zambia, for instance, okay? <laughs> You'd find that uh, we've received in the past years uh, the Chinese farmers, okay? Who are in almost everything. And some they can pay 
peanuts you have never heard of. Okay? Peanuts okay. you have never heard of. Probably which even, uh, you know, in, during slavery never happened. But it's happening in the modern time in my country. Like when you go to YouTube, there's one a farmer who's quarreling with a Zambian uh, worker, giving this guy like, uh, you know, I'm just giving you a picture. The month is supposed to be, say, $400, okay, as a salary. Then at the end of the month, this farmer is giving a Zambian, the Chinese, 20, only $20. This is, no, 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 but sir, this is only, no, no, you remember last time you came home, you wanted some chickens, okay, just to eat, like this guy did it, oh, the salary came in, so you got some pieces of chicken, and the other day you did, two days you did is come to work, so it ends there, and it's just paying from the pocket, can that happen in Kenya today? No. It will never happen. Uh, those are some of the injustices that the government has, has tried to fight, uh, to fight. Awesome. Great. Wonderful. So which simply means your prospective partner, investor, yeah. in your cooperative, yeah. has to know that where I'm going to Kenya is not a ground to play with the labor laws. He has yeah. or she has or that company has to respect them, is it? Yeah. Wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Elvis. Thank you. Okay. This is great hey. to know. Kabisa. Mr. Washington, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come through, sir. <laughs> you, want, you, 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 sorry, <laughs> you, you don't want to be on video? <laughs> Just want something on what Elvis was, was saying. OK. Uh, about uh, the government, uh, the, the government contribution about the issues of agriculture. Mm -hmm. So, there's, there are these entities, the serious, the, the, the national serious and produce board. Okay. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hundred percent, sir. Yes. I just wanted to react to react on something that Elvis has said about the government contribution. Go ahead, sir. On issues about agriculture, sir, can you hear me? Yes, continue. Yes, so continue. there, are, yes. so there are entities like the National Cereals and Produce Board. Hello. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm so the government through these entities hello sir yes, hello? just go on just go on we are, we are enjoying listening to you hello. just go on so the government through these entities like the national series and produce board so they they they, they 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 buy they buy the cereals from the from I mean from the from the producers. Yeah. Then the products that have been bought from the producers are taken to the silos or the granaries, if I might say. Mm -hmm. So these products that have been taken to the granaries are then used to to facilitate uh, food uh, when there is need. Especially during farming. Wow. Yes. Hello? Hello? Wow. That's amazing. Hello? Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, are we together, sir? No, 100%. 100%. Oh, no. The line is gone. Yes, sir. Yes. Wow. So they were Hello? understood. Hello. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, and on the hand, the hand, I also wanted to. Yeah. Hello, sir. 
Continue, sir. Continue, sir. If I don't hear, I'm going to tell you, but we are hearing you. I wanted also to disagree. With you. Yes, sir. Okay, disagreement Hello? coming. <laughs> Go ahead. I also wanted to disagree totally with Elvis about the issues of the roads in Kenya, especially. Okay. Like, for instance, Elvis was saying that the road oh, connectivity no. in Kenya is... Hey, sir. Hello? Hello? Oh, now you are back. Now you are back. Yes. You are saying you are disagreeing with the roads? <laughs> oh, no. We want to hear that disagreement. Now your your line is breaking. Hey. Oh no. Yes. Try again. No, I can't hear. I can't, okay, now I we can't hear you now. Yes, sir. Continue. Yes. You said you want to disagree about the road network. Especially about the road says. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion? Yes. You, know, you see, Elvis was saying that uh, roads are so much, that roads in Kenya are well connected, especially from the farms to the final point for storages. Mm -hmm. the, ro the roads in Kenya, are, uh, the roads in Kenya are not so much connected. Uh, especially, we have got bad roads, and I think the government should should do something about these. Especially from the farmers coming from regions like the highland regions. You see now when they are moving their products to regions for sale, to selling regions. These farmers normally get a lot of troubles, especially when transporting their, their goods. Maybe from the farms to the places where they're supposed to be sold or from the farms to the places where they're, where they're, where they're, they're supposed to be, store, to be stored for, for future use. So saying that roads in Kenya are so much connected and uh, saying that roads in Kenya are so much uh, good for, tra for, transportation, for transportation, then I think that one is, 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 is wrong. I think the government, I think what Elvis could have said is that the government should actually come with a forum ensuring that roads in Kenya are well maintained, especially those ones connecting regions, especially one region to another region. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello, sir. Yes. Great. So that is what I wanted to say. Uh, yes. Thanks. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mr. Washington, uh, for bringing a different view. Mr. Elvis, any comment? Yeah, I've heard from my brother. And allow me to comment about his disagreement with Elvis. <laughs> it's okay. I want to say this. A good percentage of roads within Kenya are in good position. But there are places where accessing the road is, 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 is a challenge, that's true. But when it comes to good percentage, go, 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 go around the, the Nandi area, they have good roads. And the, around that area is where tea farming is taking place. Walk, to, walk along Naikuru, where agriculture is taking place, they have nice roads. But when it comes to our place here, yeah, the, the highlands, I know we have challenge. I love to agree with them because uh, most of the places are doing sugarcane planting. And transporting sugarcane to the industry become a major challenge, especially to, uh, especially to the people in that place. And I have to Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Elvis. Uh, Madam Winnie. Uh, thank you, sir. You know, like in, in, in Kenya, I'd just like to say, in Kenya, the, the, the main roads are well connected, but the interior where the products are from are poorly done. 
you can take like years to reach the main road when you're having your product gotten from wow from from, from the, the the farms yeah wow so maybe elvis is referring to the main roads of nakuru well connected those places are just good but now the interiors the small scale farmers are really suffering in Kenya. Wow. Wow. Now people, people you people you are cancelling everything from Mr. Elvis' point of view. <laughs> so, so now uh, you are simply saying small scale farmers. Now my question is if there are no uh, inroads from small scale, how do they manage? to take them to the other side. Because as I believe here, uh, earlier on, the earlier speakers say that small scale farmers are also supported. They take you know, their products to some point. So how do they manage from their farm blocks to the other side if there are no uh, roads? So we have lost. Okay, wow. Mr. Elvis, how do you close this one up? Oh, what I love to say, uh, my sister talked of the, those, those that are coming from the interior. It's true, they are the farmers that are coming from interior. Testing roads from, that, from both places are difficult. Uh, uh, there are some companies, uh, the sugar companies that are in the position to provide the means of transport. Like uh, we have uh, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were sugar, sugar company. Mm -hmm. They are in the position to provide the trucks to transport their the goods from the farms, where especially from the interior to the, to the company. And I think uh, uh, they are doing good. They are doing good. Okay. Though, mm -hmm. though there are some challenges. The road is not the, the, the road around the place are not in good position, good situation. But transportation, I'm very sure the companies are coming in. Mm. Okay. So in any case, the way I'm seeing it here, though I don't know the exact geographical arrangement of Kenya, is that. Wherever farming or agribusiness is so doing well, uh, the roads there are well done as well to facilitate. Where it is not, the farming is not doing so well, the road network also is not so really supported, is it? Okay. Okay. Great. Perfect. No, um, I think we're going to wind up here. We've clocked uh, four hours already. And uh, it's really, you know, why we are doing this, this is very important. I will tell you that uh, there, there are some people, of course, probably who forgot to do the assignment. You go around the questions, research. It's very important. Why? Like we've said, you are not just, you know, uh, as any other student. You are here for a purpose, and that purpose is connectivity and entrepreneurship in agribusiness. Tomorrow, you'll be talking to, you know, investors. Your trainers won't be around. So you have to speak your mind out because no matter the way investors are is, when you are doubting yourself or you are a cooperative, you are not answering questions, you are in doubt. Oh, how is farming in your region? From which region are you? We are in the northern part. What is, and these people, they research in case you didn't know. They research because you know where money is concerned, investment is concerned, that they want to get the facts. But still, they, they are going to ask you, can you tell us in which region I work in the northern part? What kind of is the difference there? Let's have things in the community. Research, respond, respond. What difficulties are there? They have research as well, but they just wanted to get it, they just want to get it from the host's mouth so that the essence of uh, when you are given assignments to research, it's not just to push you. It is for your own sake so that you are ready. When that time comes, you are flowing and you are easy to go with um, that. So, well, well, today has been um, 
this part has been segment representation of segment. We had 16 questions at least uh, halfway questions have been discussed and uh, tackled. We will still going to do the other remaining part some other time. So here is Kenya with the presentation. Unfortunately enough, we couldn't continue with Congo because of our uh, internet connectivity quickly one day, things are gonna be okay. And thank you so much, uh, great students. Tomorrow, same time, okay, same time as we started today. Okay, same time, please. Observe Kenyan time, that's gonna be one o'clock. Yeah, to, uh, Germany 12, one o'clock Kenya. Congo, one hour below Germany, uh, 11 o'clock. So God bless you all, this Morgan. This morning means until tomorrow. So bye. Bye.